Hey guys, Dave here. Today we're going to be talking about seed saving. And uh, a lot of people want to know why do you save your seeds? Well, first, first foremost, you get your plants for free. That's a no-brainer. Next year, plant your seeds. You you ain't got to pay that kind of money to uh, pay three dollars for a plant, especially cabbage. I've seen people pay three dollars for a plant. You can go buy a head of cabbage at the store for a dollar fifty. Don't make no sense. Uh, second of all, some income. Hey, I've grown five varieties last year. I saved my seeds. Uh, here's some. I've got about 20 of these bags of sunflower seeds. I can't tell you how many jalapeno pepper seeds I got. They're probably well into the thousands, if not tens of thousands. I don't know. And uh, some of my Roma seeds. This is just a very small part part of them. And this year when I go to plant, I don't have to go out and buy plants because I got free seeds. And everybody wants something free and that's there. Uh, last, we're all seed stewards. When you save your seeds, you're starting to appreciate what God gave us to grow. And you can start working on it and if you want earlier tomatoes start picking them your earliest ones save the seeds put them to the side next year when you plant them you know you'll gradually get earlier and earlier seeds over the several different generations now one of the things uh i did with these five different varieties i got is i just set myself a, a I challenged myself to make $250 selling these seeds, and I'm gonna beat that easily. Easily, and um, next year I'm gonna, you know, I'm gonna probably quadruple that. The uh, main part, 300 feet apart. You don't want no cross pollination. If you want to sell something, you want to sell it uh, true. Uh, tomatoes, peppers, kind of hard to cross pollinate, but 300 feet apart you're good uh, you start getting into your squash your melon your uh, things are in the same family you you can easily get in trouble and don't tell what you got but if you're doing it for yourself who cares maybe you'll find something new and you'll enjoy it uh, the sunflower seeds they always say you know even if they cross pollinate you're you're not going to get a, a, a ugly thorny bush you're going to get some sort of uh uh, pretty sunflower so you can play with it but if you want to sell them you know be true to what they are and, and keep them in uh, uh, good true seeds next thing you want to do is you always want to do a germination test why do a germination test well if you're going to sell seeds you might you want to know that they actually germinate and what the percentage is what I like to do, I randomly pick 20 seeds each time I uh, harvest seeds or save my seeds. I'll pick 20, uh, stick them in some dirt, and you know, if uh, 19 of them come up, I got 95% germination. And if somebody wants uh, 50 seeds, I'll go ahead throw in an extra five, 10 seeds. It don't matter. It, uh, I'm not really doing this as a living to make money off of it, but. I tell you what, who don't like money? Hmm, I do. So, next thing we're going to talk about is uh, if you guys want any of these seeds, jalapeno or Roma, just comment me. First 10 people, I'm going to send you uh, 25 seeds of each or both or, or whatever you want. I can't do the sunflower because they're they'll run through the machine and they'll get all messed up and, and it won't, uh, it, it, they'll be jumped by the time you get them. Other than that, I hope you learned something and hope you enjoyed the video and thank you much.